everybody, it is Paint Pouring Sandy, and in this video, I'm going to bring you a really fun um, neon pour tonight um, with white negative space and neon purple, bright blue, crisp green, a mix of uh, radiant yellow and hay for my neon yellow. Autumn orange and diva pink. And I've created a really fun, cool looking dirty pour cup. I've already poked a hole in the bottom and I've got a piece of tape here on the bottom of this. And as part of one of my art groups that I'm in, our, um, it's not really a challenge, but just something to kind of push you out of your comfort zone um, this month is neons with white negative space and embellished with a flip and drag. So let's see how many of those I can really accomplish. I didn't have a lot of neon colors, so I looked for the brightest ones that I could find and I'm kind of going with that. Uh, I've got a little bit of white in this cup as well. Um, I've also got drops of treadmill silicone oil in here as well. So I think that this will be a lot of fun. So let, And I've already got white down here on my 8x8 canvas panel. So that's already ready to go. And I'm just going to flip this over here as soon as I can decide kind of where I want this. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Can I already tell? It's going to be awesome. And again, I, I know y'all are probably tired of hearing this, but I'm going to make sure I get white around here. Because, again, I want to make sure that my colors are going to have something to go into. And I don't know if you saw that, but as soon as I started putting the white down over here, it started going towards that edge. So it just needed that little bit of suction there. And how pretty is this cup? I always think it's, my little dirty pour cups are always so pretty to me. Let's get this one moving around here. You'll notice it's not really wanting to move over here so much just because, again, it needs some white. Here, some of my negative space color around the edges here so that the color's not trying to move over itself, if that makes sense. I promise you, if you wipe your tool, this tool off while it's still wet, your life will be so much easier as, as a paint pourer. And then now what I want to do is um, 
take my torch here. Actually, I want to see if I can get this paint to kind of go this way a little bit for me here without losing too much of my cells, too many of my cells here. Again, I'm not trying to twerk, I'm not trying to, you know, burn my paint or scorch it or anything. I just want to get those bubbles out of there. Alright, let's see what we can get going here. And what I'm doing is I'm blowing through the straw really slowly and kind of in a circular motion where I've got some of these colors that I want to kind of expand a little bit. It's also a way that you can make your cells look bigger, just so you know. happy with this one so I'm gonna leave paint wise I'm gonna leave this alone and then I ordered on wish um, this really cool set of giant glitter I guess you would describe it it's actually for nail art um, and I'm kind of thinking of adding some to my nails here but I'm thinking that I might be able to get away with adding some of these to some of my white here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where yet, but I think I might be able to get away with some of that. So I'm going to see what I can do to get some of these off and onto my painting and just see if I can embellish this a little bit because that was part of the pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. So I will do that, but I also want to kind of go back and retorch this just since I've blown it around a little bit. This one will be fast.
not typically a really big fan of embellishing my pieces, so like I said, this is definitely a outside of my comfort zone type of moment here. I don't even know where that last little one landed. No, it didn't come off my finger. So this will be uh, very interesting here. I'm curious to see how this kind of plays out here. I'm sure there have to be some of you thinking, no, please stop. But I want to try new things, so what the heck? Why not? I kind of have this glitter everywhere, but we'll just kind of see what happens here with this as it dries and see if I like it or not. I am going to go ahead and take my little spreader here and I'm just going to run this down here. because I don't want, especially right here, I don't want it to continue pulling the paint off of my side here, so. I'll have some really fun skins left over after this, so we'll see what we'll see what we can create with those two. All right, well, I am going to let this one dry and see what I can do um, with this. The other thing that I can do here that I can kind of show you is what it's like when you have an intentional skin pour. So I've got my little dirty pour cup right here, and I've got just a little bit of paint left over, and I don't really want them to go to waste. So what I'm going to do is, um, in this area here, I'm just going to do another little dirty pour on right on my plastic here. Probably between all these colors, I'm going to end up with about half an ounce of paint here, which to some might not seem like a lot, but to people like myself, it is a lot. So what I'll do, just since this area is not 
100% clean. I'm just going to throw down some white here. Do my flip cup right there. Oh wow. How beautiful is that flip cup? I love it. It's very pretty. Since this is just on my table, I can kind of manipulate this a little bit here. And then I can just pull this back out nice and straight. And I would caution to do this very carefully because I don't want to light my plastic on fire, but I can still heat up my paint here just a little bit and pop bubbles. And so now I can just let this sit here nice and flat, let this dry, and I'll end up with a skin that I can then peel off and use for jewelry that'll have some really fun things going on with it. And then I can let this dry now and see what this looks like with these glitter embellishments um, as well. So I think it'll be pretty exciting and I can't wait to see how this turns out. All right, so everyone, this is the next day. It's been a full 24 hours since I painted this and so it's here in North Texas it's it's dry to the touch um, you know the paints not gonna go anywhere I'm gonna let this cure a bit longer but I wanted to show you all what this looks like dry so you can see the pieces of glitter in here as well like I said this was part of my group's project we had to embellish it um, and one of the suggestions was glitter and this was the only glitter I had on hand so I've got some of those big nail, fingernail uh, glitters on here. Tried to use some of the same colors that are in my piece already. So I do think it's kind of cool that when you move it around you can see the glitter. So there's that. And then this is my skin here that I purposely poured. And what I'll be able to do now is peel this up. like this. This I didn't embellish at all just because I'm going to use it for some jewelry or I might figure out something really cool to make with this whole piece. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but this is dry to the touch. This is what the back looks like. Where I had the cup and spread the color. Um, but I'll be able to hole punch this and use this as jewelry as well. So yeah, fun times. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Um, as always, if you have not yet liked, subscribed, um, liked or subscribed to my channel, that's always very much appreciated. If you've got questions on anything I've done, comments, anything like that, ideas of things you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, I do respond to all of the comments. So um, again, I always greatly appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching.